Welcome to episode 16 of Not My Scene. My name is Taylor Nitz, or possibly you might know me as Taylor from K-Way. That's Matt Ray. You, you don't know him as Matt from K-Way, but he is Matt yep. from K-Way. You'll hear him a lot uh, there on, uh, on K-Way. Um, we, uh, we've got another episode of this uh, Not My Scene thing. Yeah, yeah. And this time I'm going to set you up. You're going to set me up? Okay, wow. Okay, because the other day on this very radio station I was sitting right here and you were right over there because we normally don't do the morning show like no, this. No, we don't, we don't sit in this formation yeah, when we do the morning show. Yeah. It'd be a, a little close. Um, <laughs> you said you didn't like Boston. Yeah. You did really poorly at a Boston quiz. Did, okay, yeah. yeah. It, it's, I don't not like Boston. They're just very much in the middle and I, I barely noticed okay. them. <laughs> so their first album is phenomenal phenomenal album but eight songs all of them great i thought about giving you um you know more than a feeling but that's such a normal yeah. song you've probably heard that's of the boston times. song that i know yeah the brett delps uh, soaring vocal hey, it's a great song it's a great song but i gave you a foreplay long time because not only do you not like boston you hate long songs <laughs> i don't i don't this love long show. songs that's true but this is like two songs but you talk yeah. about it Sure, I will. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, about, uh, what, what is it, like 750, something like that? Yeah, about as long That's as you can get on a record. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's the it's a little risque coming from you. Foreplay? That's not something that you often well, it, it's uh, not talk about. It's not necessarily talking about <laughs> S-E-X or Mr. Nitz. <laughs> like it's it the is. beginning of a song. Uh, Goodness yes. gracious. <laughs> so the foreplay part of it really is just a very long intro. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, it's, uh, I like it. It's kind of good. Um, and I, uh, this, the whole thing, uh, I listened to it a couple of, a couple of times on Friday. That's when we actually exchange our, our videos. I listened mm -hmm. to it a couple of times. Like, yeah, it's not, it's not, not very good. The more and more I listened to it, um, the more and more I, I, I liked it against my, my own wishes. <laughs> I liked not only the foreplay part, the, the intro part, but the, but the long time part, the, the song as well. And it really wasn't. Um, when you get into to the long time, uh, the uh, the song portion, it's not the lyrics. The lyrics, I think, are sort of, they're just, I don't know, they're, they're sort of shallow. I don't mean that as, like, uh, they, they're just, there's just not a lot to them necessarily. Like, they don't, it doesn't go particularly deep. Mm -hmm. It's not the most um, incredible lyrics I've ever seen, not by a long shot. No, no. Um, it, it's really much more about... Um, um, the, the music behind them, which has a spacey type feel, which is, I think, pretty cool. Um, it's, I've, uh, on my notes that I've got here, I've got them listed as Rush Light, and not because, like, they, in fact, this came out before before Rush uh, it came out, but it's, I think Rush does this better, but it's in that vein, uh, uh, which is pretty cool uh, to me. Like it's it's like if I'm in that that mood for kind of that spacey type feel mm -hmm. of of music. Um, and the album cover, is yeah, just that for sure. Yeah, uh, you know, Rush in, in in Boston. I think are probably two two bands that I'm I'm going to seek out if I'm in if I'm looking for that sort of thing. Um, for play again, the uh, the intro part is uh, is spacey guitar and organ um, in there. Uh, it's uh, and like I say, it's 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 pretty good. I, I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, the uh, the lyrics in uh, the the long time portion uh, sort of talk about you know hitting the hitting the road, hitting the world, hitting the road, uh, and and, poten and potentially perhaps remembering uh, a girl uh, in the lyrics. Again, it's not all that all that uh, deep. There is a guitar solo uh, sort of at the back portion of long time. I'm not into guitar solos. Like it's. Ooh. Well, you're it's not a, into Boston. You're a jam <laughs> band, pretty much it's, a manufactured band by the guitarist. Here's, here's why I don't like. You've got this song, and then you take me out of the song. Why? That doesn't make sense. I don't like that. And it's not a, it's not a Boston thing. It's, a, it's a, I just don't like solos. Okay. Just not a big solo guy. Um, so there's one of those. If you're like me, you probably aren't. But if you're like me, uh, then look out for that. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's good. I think for me, I think it, it would be an ideal song. If, uh, especially like in the summertime when I'm out just driving with nowhere in particular to go, just driving out uh, on a country road, on a back road somewhere, there's nobody else around and I can just kind of zone out and, and sort of feel like I'm in space or whatever. Like 
it's a pretty good one uh, for that. And um, and as I mentioned, I, I wanted to come into this not liking because as as you mentioned, I, I had told you that I didn't like Boston, wasn't into Boston at all, mm -hmm. barely recognized that they existed. Um, I hate and, the Red Sox. <laughs> and I hate the Red Sox. Um, but that's not the case. I really enjoyed this song. I, I had to listen to it a couple of times um, and probably open my mind up a little bit more uh, than than I started with. And once I did, I, I did really, really enjoy yeah. it. it. It's a uh, uh, it's a it's a it's a good, fun '70s kind of rock song. Yeah, it's not all it's not all that hard necessarily, but it is kind of a rock song. And it's basically all Tom Scholes. He kind of does the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned the lead singer's name earlier, Brad Delp. That's it. Unbelievable. And, and he's, too bad he's no longer with us. But his I yeah. mean his range is in. <laughs> Yeah, there. It sees that on the screen. Yeah, <laughs> that's where it goes. One of the, one of the crazy things, well, about uh, Tom Scholes, uh, though, he says, anyways, that uh, this is one of the first pieces of music. Not one of this was the first piece of music that he wrote, which is pretty, yeah. which is pretty crazy because it's pretty darn good. <laughs> to <Yeah>. be fair, <laughs> he's I'm an engineer. Re he went to MIT. Yeah. Like he's just a brainiac, and he just did it in his garage in his house. Yeah, made his own studio, and it was. Yeah, legendary. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So yeah, good choice, I suppose. Oh yeah. Well, well let's go from space to the sea with yours. Yeah, yeah. So I picked a band for Matt that is uh, quite niche. I, in fact, I can't pick another <laughs> band out that is in this uh, same uh, subgenre, if you want. Uh, but I think they do it really, really well. Uh, the man upstairs, who we've talked about uh, several times, the guy that lives literally upstairs. Um, I think if he's not aware of these guys, I think he would enjoy them he quite would. a bit. Yeah, probably uh, already is. So yeah, we're... I think he is. I think we've had a, a conversation or two about them. Um, but uh, the uh, band is called Ailstorm. Not to be confused with Hailstorm, but Ailstorm. They are a pirate metal band. Uh, and the song that I have given you, Matt, is called Drink. What did you think? Well, I've uh, not been an Ailstorm guy. It's interesting instruments to distort. So it's like distorted, uh, let's see, banjo, mando, uke, fiddle. It's like, it's folk metal. Pirate metal is the zeroed in, and they're like the only one in that category, maybe. Yeah. But it's folk. It's like, if you took Mumford and & Sons and then just stuck them in the heavy metal area... In fact, if you just took like uh, an Irish Scottish group and then fully distorted them, which there are some of those around St. Patrick's Day, you will see many a Scottish metal band confused for an Irish band that just gets a gig. <laughs> That's what these guys are. I mean, it's folk metal. It's good music. It's really good. A novelty song. Yeah. But that's all they do. So it's a novelty song with Scottish sounds to it. Uh, it's, as you said, pirate metal, which is a thing. <laughs> um, and it's just about pirates who steal and drink all your booze. Yeah, that's right. Beer and uh, whiskey and you know all the yeah. all the sort of stuff that you get. I love the uh, the fiddle solo. Yeah. Uh, uh, two thirds in is, but it's just good. it's good music and it's unexpected. The video is a silly companion with it. I mean, it, it matches yeah, as perfectly as you can because it's guys dressed up like pirates, like uh, Pirate Steve from Dodgeball, <laughs> and uh, just going in and uh, drinking beer yeah, with the people. And there's like a very, you know, uptight group of ladies, and then they let sure. their hair down, of course, as yeah. music videos tend to do. And yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. It was good, good musically. I, I would have to be in the mood to listen to these guys uh, in maybe around the 17th of March after listening to a little you know the Irish punk where you get the folk with yeah. the hard I, I would probably just slip some ale storm in there and sure. uh, not even notice and yeah. have a lot of fun with it so it was, it was a fun band <laughs> yeah weird genre <laughs> very strange genre to be in but I like it better than some of the other metal because it, it's got uh, extra layer of musicianship because there's so many different instruments out of the folk than just bass, guitar, drums. Yeah, you know it's it's got all the, and so I, I enjoy it. It was very it was very fun. Yeah, a couple of things that I really like about Alestorm is they obviously don't take themselves too seriously. They don't really? take themselves seriously at all, which is which they know what they are. And and, and you're never with Alestorm, you're never going to run into that uh, situation where they change up their sound on you. I mean, they know what <laughs> what they are, and you know what you're getting out of out of Alestorm. 
And, um, you know, there are, are many, uh, I don't want to call Ailstorm a, a joke band, because I don't think that they're that, necessarily. Novelty. I think, not a, yeah. It's a novelty thing they do, but yeah. the musicianship is all there. Right, yeah. They yeah. just decided, hey, we're going to have fun. Yeah. And uh, I, I like them quite a bit. I've seen them live. Their live shows are, I mean, it, it's just a party. It's its its fun. Uh, it's its a good time. Uh, they've got uh, some other songs that um, are much more, uh, this, there's much more swearing, as you would expect, I suppose, out of them. This one was not rated it. R. Yeah, no. <laughs> Zero no. earmuffs. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's the word beer trigger, triggers you. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I think it's really good. They got some other, uh, yeah. some very good uh, songs too. So if, if you're into pirate metal, <laughs> check out uh, Ale Storm. You'll, you'll probably enjoy what they have to offer. If you're into pirate metal, you already knew that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, yeah. All right. So uh, as far as uh, next week goes, any ideas? Uh, yeah, I wrote it down. I don't remember what I said, but I okay. wrote it down <laughs> and it's all there for you in me notes here. Okay. And uh, I would oh yeah yeah I've got I've got one that is of a legend oh um, but it's one that's not a was not a big hit for him but it was on a soundtrack oh, that okay. I have at home and I just love the song okay I love the song all right the song that I have got for you next week I think you're gonna like in fact I maybe have played it for you I can't remember if I have. Um, I legitimately think you're going to like it. Okay. I think you're going to like it. I think it's much more, I think it's closer to a song that you have, uh, you have given to me than any of the other songs that I've given to you. Okay. Thus far. There's some whistling involved as well. Oh, were we sitting by the dock of the bay? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, that's what you can look forward to uh, for uh, next week. Again, I don't think I've said it yet. If you uh, want to check out the uh, videos or the songs uh, that we talked about here in this video, they will be down in the, uh, the description if you want to check those out. Uh, and uh, come on back next time and yeah. check out what we've got uh, for you. Yeah. That's it. Thanks for participating. Oh, I'm just stealing it. Steal it from ESPN. Okay. Right. Back when I used to All watch right. that like 10 years yeah. ago. Yeah. Do, yeah. do they still do that? I don't That's know. A I don't know. Who All watches? Right. <laughs> All right, we're done. We'll see you next time on Not My Scene. Yep.